Alright guys, here's a video that we did of repairing some ruts in the driveway. It was supposed to just be repairing the ruts in the driveway, but once she told me her budget, I felt pretty confident that we could, you know, uh, do a layer over the entire driveway. However, the thick areas that were the trouble areas are like six to eight inches thick. I just feel, you know, I graded them a little bit, but there was a couple deep ruts that got filled pretty good. This was a tough one for me because she was very adamant that we don't do anything fancy. Um, she wanted like to leave it like a country gravel road feel considering I don't live in the country and you know she has a very rare piece of property. Um, and she also lives in an area that is uncommon. She lives in one part of the area that has big big rocks so she had a big boulder when her car was driving through the ruts it was carving down lower and she ended up hitting this big rock and i told her if i can't get the rock out because it could be like the iceberg that sunk the titanic what i'll do is i'll just go over it and she said okay that's fine she said but don't touch don't touch the rocks if you don't have to i you know we did in one area widen the driveway and we lined the rocks back up but the rest of it she had said I don't want it to look fancy and I like to keep this country gravel road feel if I could she says I'd just get rid of all the rocks it's it's weird to me because also normally when we do a job we have the people that are trying to do more for less and this lady had a good budget but didn't want to she wanted to just fill in a couple holes um, and we ended up just covering the whole entire driveway so it would look uniform because the base material she already had in some places that was good was a gray material. So it little, would have looked strange when we left. So we ended up just doing the whole thing. And yeah, it's just weird having someone say to you, you know, this is my budget, but I don't want you to do a fancy job. I don't know. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. We're on this dead end road and uh, what we got to do is we got to replace the gravel on this road but I'm going to have him blow out. I brought both blowers. We're going to blow everything off the driveway. I'm going to fill in this hole but I'm going to have him blow out the water. I got to do some grading. Uh, right through here is not that bad so I'm probably just going to add like a little bit to it. Um, Seems to be pretty good because it's all pitched out here. Probably gonna shave this lip in this mud and make like a little swale off into the woods to drain this area out. And then I'm probably gonna drop a load in here and then push it out that way. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go get a load of this stuff. All right. Well, you got to go over to uh, they got the dozer pushing up the uh, plant food. They call it plant food because that's what you feed the crushing plant with. It's basically just crushed rock and everything. And then the plant will wash the stone, separate the sand. Then you see all these big stockpiles of sand. Um... But we are here for the three-quarter. That's what we're picking up. That pile there. Three-quarter blue dense gray. All right, guys. I didn't get the loader on this round. Maybe I'll get it on the next one. But we're climbing out of the hill. We got 11... Let me see here. Eleven point six seven tons on.
this is absolutely terrible there's so many rocks under here I'm like literally gonna have kidney problems after this it's like a mix between dense grade and and um, oh I gotta go get him the rake it's like a mix between dense grade and dirt and rock it sucks But I just wanted to say something about tailgate spreading real quick because I know I'm gonna get a comment because every now and then I get comments. I still get comments on the channel uh, on older videos where people will say, hey, you know, chain the tailgate and spread that stuff with the tailgate. Uh, well, I'm not doing that. I have a multiple, mul 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 multitude, multitude, I don't know. I got a lot of reasons why I'm not doing it. I have seen people tailgate spread and they're good at it. But I've also, around here, no one does it. Because too many guys have uh, taken down wires. One guy a long time ago, it's pretty famous around here, was electrocuted and died. So, <clears throat> it only takes a split second to be focusing on what you're doing. And the next thing you know, you're hitting wires. So, I don't do it. Don't leave me comments about it. I'm not going to answer comments about it. Um, you break tarp poles. You break. Uh, you break the, the tarp motor. I've. You watch YouTube. You see guys driving down this long driveway, smacking all the tree branches. I mean, if that's what you want to do to your truck, go for it. You paid for it. If you want to do that, go for it my truck's air ride so it really goes side to side and for me to smack a tree branch would be like easy and i don't know if you guys noticed the price of trucks lately but i'm babying the shit out of my truck
All right, guys. So here's the thing. Um, she didn't. She didn't care too much about the rocks and the line. Some some spots there are no rocks. Then there's a couple big rocks, and then there was no rocks again. So I asked her like, "What do you want to do?" And she says, "Oh, I don't want it to look. I just want it to look like a like a country gravel road. I don't want it to be all fancy and everything." Um, so we did move. Bryson moved while I was doing some work. He did move this line of rocks was over here actually came over here and went this way so she was squeezing her car up against these trees um, so we did take off the corner it came out like this like a big teardrop and then came back so we did shave it take off the corner and move it she does have a little parking spot over there um, we're not gonna chop top this with any stone or anything a lot of times we'll put that that is a base material um, that's used around here for road construction it's crushed three-quarter um, processed stone uh, some people call it crusher run so that's like a base material but she doesn't want to top it off she lives out here in the like the woods so she likes the privacy and she doesn't want to see like I don't know what I'm gonna do over here because the rocks are so much higher than the driveway so if I start you know I tried it in a couple spots I started going in and scraping in and then the rocks are falling down I don't know if you can see but like see where the bottom of my boot is if I stand my boot up straight the rocks are not actually at the bottom of the you know this level so i think i'm just gonna fill over that fill in that i don't know it's it's tough because you know you want to do like this perfect line thing and everything uh probably gonna i'm probably gonna take another pass down here but every time you touch anything you know the rocks are all moving and uh she doesn't want to do anything with the rocks so she told me she actually wishes they weren't even there so probably gonna just fill to the bottom of them i'm probably gonna take another pass through there though and, and scrape that grass out i, I don't want to fill over that um and then that big rock over here that i couldn't get out she had said when i had met her she was like no rocks here that was actually buried over here. But when I had met with her over here, she said, if you can't get it out, just go over it. So it's not, cause her car was dipping real low here and then hitting that. So she's got a little Prius. But um, I'm gonna keep spreading this. Then we're gonna go get another load, probably get a coffee. I just went and got six more tons 
um, for up the up top there, and then we're gonna probably need to touch up the edges with a rake because um, every time I come near one of these rocks and I tap it or anything or bump into it, it you know, we end up. So this this dirt got this dirt fell down too. That sucks because I don't like the way it looks. So like all this little dirt marks. That's on the tracks of the machine when you drive from the other stuff on here. So you gotta be careful because it'll play tricks with your mind. You'll think you have a thin spot. You don't. It's actually just you're, you're dirtying up the, tr you know? So that would look like in someone's head a thin spot, but watch this. You know what I mean? It's not thin. It's, it's like three inches. So, that'll play tricks with your mind also. The neighbor just came by and said, looks great, but it's gonna be covered in pine needles soon. And I'm like, well, it is what it is, bud. And he goes, no, it still looks good. I'm just saying this area here has got a lot of pine trees, so anything you do, you know, gets covered in pine needles anyways, which he's right. I mean, look at this stone. I'm not saying the guy's wrong, but he kind of was like, you know, I don't know why I would even bother. And he started getting all negative, and I'm like, all right, I gotta go. Cause nobody likes negativity. Um, sometimes I sound like I'm being negative, but that's just the way that I talk. Maybe he's the same way, I don't know. But he actually started getting negatives, you know, pe you know, oh, I, don't, I wouldn't even bother, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, well, then I won't give you a card then. How about that? Alright, so he's down there uh, taking the plate compactor over the edge of the driveway where there was a pothole uh, that was fairly deep, but we just got everything raked out, all the edges cleaned up, nice and tight against the rocks and whatnot, and then got all the uh, track ruts out and all that. Now he's just getting the, uh, the edge done right there, you can see. All right. 
Alrighty. So we can see this is packing really nice. I got this going like this, so hopefully it'll keep dirt from, I mean water from the road from running down in here now. It'll, it's pitched that way, and then it goes up a little, and then it comes down, and then I cut out a ditch and I compacted the spillway. So um, when it comes down, I'm, I'm gonna finish raking this, but it's getting dark, so I wanted to talk to you guys, but I gotta rake the edge out a little bit and rake the rest of this, but when the water comes down, it'll, my thought is it'll go out that way. And if it comes this way, it'll go out that way. There's a big low lying area in there, but I didn't want to dig up too much in there. So, um, and she's just looking for like a backwoods country vibe to it. It's kind of hard because like, sometimes you have rocks, then you don't have rocks. You see what I'm saying? Like there's rocks there, but then there's no rocks here. So we just kind of did the best we could. You know what I hate? I get a lot of times from different people. Some t people use it and, and they, are, uh, they are correct. In the way that they say it, you can tell that they literally are just having a conversation with you. Yeah. Um, the phrase just saying at the end. Cause it's like, you're trying to mic drop. That's like a try, like the phrase just saying is like nah. a try, to me it is and it's like, well, you're just saying stuff that's not correct. What do you mean? Oh, if someone says, oh, you should have done it like this, just saying. I think that's whatever, because it's mildly constructive to some degree. Because even if, even if it's incorrect on their end, it, it, you know, it's supposed to come off as constructive. Even if it's supposed to be like, oh, like, look at me, like, I know the right way to do it. Whether it's right or not, it's still meant in a constructive sense. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the word, it depends. It, like, I've seen it used in a different couple contexts. And, like, sometimes I think it's used in an in, in, in insecure way. Like, you're trying to throw something out there, but you're not sure how it's going to be received. Or if you're correct, so you're like, I'm just saying. No, see, that's, that's just saying. And then maybe, but don't take my word for it. You know, like, like when you give it, you ever give advice to somebody, but you don't want to ruin their life on accident. So you say, no, that's just my opinion. You know, no, no, no. whenever I give advice, I want to like, ruin everyone's life with my advice. <laughs> yeah. Your advice will ruin everyone's life. You have the worst advice. I no. do. Yeah. You have good advice. You have good I advice. have good advice, but you know who's got really good advice? Chubb. Which is my youngest son. My little brother. He's, he's a clever. Super intelligent, weirdly, right? Weirdly, weirdly, because he doesn't show it at all. He's like, you know, like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Like, like if he was here right now, you know what he would say? Some, something hella witty. No, you know what he'd say? What? You, you two are idiots. It's getting <laughs> dark. <laughs> yeah. It's getting dark out. Load the <laughs> shit. Let's go. Yeah.